Test track at Epcot is now closed for refurbishment until this fall, possibly December. Now, to help fill a bit of the void of the popular attraction, Disney has added an acapella group that is performing multiple times daily outside the construction walls. In addition to the Test Track All-Stars singing group, Disney is also keeping the character spot and attractions, merchandise, and restaurant in the land open until 10 p.m. for the time being. The construction walls around Test Track show off a new logo for the attraction. When it opens this fall, guests will design custom Chevrolet vehicles and test out their design on the Test Track. Also at Epcot this past weekend, Green Builder Media's Vision House opened in Innoventions at Epcot. This new exhibit will educate visitors on the benefits of green homes and offer sustainable living ideas to enhance their daily lives. The exhibit replaced the House of Innoventions. Bush Gardens recently debuted its newest resident, an adorable baby aardvark. The young aardvark was born on March 26th, and you can see the baby aardvark daily at Jumbo Junction, located in the Nairobi area of the park. Also at Busch Gardens, the famous cheetah and puppy pair celebrated their first anniversary together. Later named Kasi the cheetah and Matani the dog, they spent only supervised playtimes together at first. Now a year later, they live together full time at the park's cheetah run habitat. Park guests can see the friends play daily. Universal Orlando recently has started previews of their brand new nighttime lagoon show, Universal's Cinematic Spectacular, 100 Years of Moving Memories. The show highlights some of the most fun, dramatic, awe-inspiring moments in Universal Pictures' most iconic films. The show, along with the new daytime parade, will officially debut on May 8th at Universal Studios. But check our website right now for a full video of the show if you can't make it in person. Thousands of Space Shuttle fans watched as the Shuttle Orbiter Discovery left Kennedy Space Center on a 747 jet last week. Discovery's destination was its new home at the Udvar Hazy branch of the Smithsonian Institute at the Dulles Airport. Starting next year, Space Shuttle Atlantis will be on permanent display at the Kennedy Space Center. Good news for those of you who are Starbucks fans and Disney fans. Starbucks locations are coming to all of Disney's U.S. theme parks starting this June at Disney California Adventure. At Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival, guests can see Chuck Negron, formerly of Three Dog Night, perform this Friday, April 27th, to Sunday, April 29th, with multiple performances each day. And Monica Peterson, host of HGTV's Meg's Dream Home 2012, will be holding talks in the Festival Center. The Viva La Musica Festival continues this weekend with performances by RKM and Ken E on Saturday at SeaWorld and Dylan and Lenny on Sunday at Busch Gardens. For more information on these news items, including photos and videos, visit attractionsmagazine.com. Now while you're there, don't forget to buy your copy of our latest issue and subscribe to stay updated and informed. You can also download our free app in the iTunes Store. And don't forget to watch Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show, at the first of each month. Our first monthly show will debut next Thursday, May 1st, 2012. You can find an archive of all of our past shows on our website and our YouTube channel.